Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a Nintendo Indie Showcase Direct, Indie World. Uh, I forgot what it was called. Uh, we reacted to Indie World from Nintendo Switch on the 5th of the... 5-11-2022, so the 11th of the 5th in the UK, in normal way of doing it. Um, so let's jump into it, let's have a little look at what indie stuff is coming to the Nintendo Switch. I'm very excited. Anything good? Let's have a little look. Excited. Okay. Looks interesting so far. Hello and welcome to Indie World. I'm Ariko. Ariko. We're back today to show you the flu of indie games coming to the Nintendo Switch. Alright. I'm in. Let's go. Sweden, Australia, and Japan. And Japan. And wow. Can't wait to see what they've been cooking up. Let's go. So let's get started. And let's go. Okay. Oh, is this uh I think it's on the Xbox, I've got what it's called now. Looks familiar. <laughs> Very cute. Oh god. Jeez. Wow. Impressive for an indie game, it's huge. It's kinda of like Pokemon mixed in with Oh yeah, Ooblet Ooblets. Land. I have seen this before. Don't you just love games that are cozy? I suppose. Absolutely do. This charming creature collection and farm simulation game from Glumberland has right. everything to give you the warm fuzzies. <laughs> grow and train adorable little creatures That's called ooblets as you Ooblets. new life in the blossoming community. Yeah, this looks for me. I've seen, you've seen this loads of times. When's it coming out? Befriend the locals. Decorate your house. Run your own shop. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. your ooblet pals and travel to different locations. Visit the arcade pack boardwalk in Port Forward. What? Wow, so random. The spooky swamps of nowhere. And ascend the frozen peaks of Tippy Top. This summer. Waddles its way onto Nintendo Switch All right. this summer. I mean, I've, I've seen adverts for that before. What's this? Colorful and mesmerizing Ooh. planets await. In this fast-paced action RPG across the cosmos. Team 17, so that's the uh, webs, guys, isn't it? driven game by Stormind Games. Interesting. We use both strength and wits to interact with others and conquer the challenges ahead. Nice. Balancing the duality of your physical and mental powers is key. Ooh. It's a bit like Diablo, I like it. Things might not turn out well for you. Ultimately... Your conscience will carry the weight of your decisions. Instead. What kind of hero will you become? I don't know. Choose your destiny in Batora. Batora. Launching on Nintendo Switch this fall. Alright. Elect head. Alright, I made a prototype of this game while I was still a student. Where the film was flow. Okay. After I graduated, I wanted to turn into a full game. I know that feeling. I, I graduated from university with game design as well. So that's why I'm like, aha! Okay. 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 Oh, that's cool. Interesting. Hmm. It's kind of like Mega Man, but every everything you touch lights up. That's kind of cool. If 
If you're looking for a clever and challenging 2D puzzle platform, well, so bad, we've got just the game for you. Looks like a street. A one person development team. Wow. Here, you're a small robot named Alec who's on a mission to restore light to the world while navigating a booby trapped facility. Mm. By using your Interesting. Fine powers to touch walls, floors, platforms, and switches. That's cool, actually. I like, wouldn't mind playing this. Bring them to life. Hey, don't get ahead of yourself. Oh. Well. Mm, I mean, actually, you should. Detach and throw your head to trigger objects. Sounds You'll a bit morbid. You need to retrieve it within ten seconds, or else. There are plenty of hidden rooms and secrets to discover. So use your head, literally, to explore every nook and cranny of the facility. Alec head bolts onto Nintendo Switch. If I remember that game, I will buy it probably because it looks kind of fun. Ooh, anime the game. Okay. Okay. Fight to the beat. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So it's kind of like um, Cadence of Hyrule. It's all about the rhythm. Soundfall. Interesting. Very Discord for you. With up to four players locally or online, as you restore harmony to Symphonia's corrupted lands. Levels and encounters are dynamically generated from the music, and there are over a hundred and forty songs to choose from. So pick the tune you want to hear before jumping into the fray. Time your actions to the music, and your power will increase. There are five different musical heroes to choose from. Over 500 pieces of equipment for skill customization and thousands of loot combinations giving you opportunities for multiple players. Interesting. That's interesting. Oh, today! To hmm. Launching on the Nintendo Switch system All right. later today. Alright, I'll try that. Uh, why is it freezing in here? You better be ready to weather the wild snowstorm frost. and wild Take on the harsh elements in this tactical roguelike deck builder from Dead uh. End Games. Build and customize your deck as you set off to put an end to the eternal frost. Card companions and items are at your disposal. Use them to battle wave after wave of monsters, from the deceptively cute penguins to brash and brutal bosses. Everyone loves card games recently. Oh man, I love inscription to come to Switch. Do us inscription. Chucklefish, okay. Hey, I have a We're from Lampol Games, a small game studio based in Stockholm, Sweden. And we are excited to announce that our game, Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, or Taps for short, oh. will be coming to Nintendo Switch. I've put that on Xbox, it's fun. It's very silly. The idea was to make a game that is inspired by the feeling you got when playing with your action figures as a kid. We then added the strategy and fighting elements and turned the game into the wobbly experience. It's very it silly. It's good though. Our wonderful community has been with us along the way and helped us shape I got it on Xbox, it's good. So together with them, we're proud to bring Taps to this awesome platform. It's very silly, but yeah. It's like oh, a hundred samurai. Well, who would win in a fight? A hundred samurais or two mammoths? Let's put two mammoths on that side. A hundred samurais on that side. Let's go. And that's kind of what the whole thing is. 
So, you know, you just make up fights. You just let them fight each other, basically. Oof. Very silly. It's on Game Pass, I think. Instead of playing it on Xbox. I'm more excited, Lev. Gato Roboto. Omnibus. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. I like it. Side screw it. Umbrella. Jesus. You're a gruff woodsman on a quest for revenge in this noir punk action oh, damn it. <laughs> you just think of a pun and that's it. You'll maneuver through various locations. That's hilarious. I love it. Cultish town to a junkyard fortress. Use the umbrella to glide, swing, dash, dive, and take out enemies. Death, die, dodge, and duck, and dive, and dodge, and duck. You'll scavenge for scraps and spare parts to upgrade the umbrella. And the umbrella. So it's basically the game of a pun, and then they made the game around it. Rapidly losing its natural resources, and that's just the beginning of your investigation. No. Plenty of dark twists and turns lie ahead. The umbrella. I love a under my umbrella. Hey everyone, I'm Jared Huntley, lead programmer on We Are OFK, and I'm Luca yeah. LeFay, lead singer of the band OFK. We're super excited to announce okay. that our music biopic game is coming to Nintendo Switch. Yes! Ooh, I can play it on a tour bus. Oh, I can't wait to tour together. We haven't seen each other since that music video brainstorm at your place in LA in 2019? Yeah, uh -huh. wow, wow. And with the game on handheld, it'll be easy to play the new episodes that are coming out every single week, back to back to back. Can't wait to share OFK's story and music with y'all. Hey, Jared, can okay. I get your opinion on tour outfits? Random. So random. We are okay. Okay. Take you on quite the emotional ride. 
set in uh -huh. downtown Los Angeles, Itsumi Saito struggles to establish herself in LA's ruthless music scene while managing a full-time job, a social life, and a brutal commute. But a chance encounter with a rising Hollywood music producer may give her the edge she needs to achieve her dreams. Mm. Through episodes released weekly and interactive music videos with a fully voiced cast, you'll witness the lives of Itsumi and her friends unfold. You're allowed to take a break and not be okay for a second. Interesting. From fighting over song lyrics at band practice to sending silly memes via text, it's a heartfelt making of the band journey that's sure to pull at your heartstrings. Mm. We are OFK. Drums on to Nintendo Switch this summer. Uh -huh. Hi, I'm Dom. And I'm Tom. And we're Spiral Circus. We are an indie games developer based in Bristol, UK. Oh, Bristol. And our passion for the strange and the real side of art is what brought us together. We both come from really different backgrounds. I was a research scientist and Tom was a fine artist. Because of the pandemic, we've been an entirely right. remote team and almost all of Silt has been hand-drawn at night by me, which seems entirely appropriate for the subject matter. Our audio designer even set up a fish tank in a studio to record the underwater sounds that you'll be hearing throughout the game. We're really excited for you to experience our hand-drawn work brought to life. Okay. And we hope you enjoy exploring the strange oceanic world of Silt on Nintendo Switch. Silt. Take a deep Ooh, breath spooky. and dive into the harrowing ocean abyss in the depths of this puzzle adventure from Spiral Circus Games. Spooky. You'll unravel long forgotten mysteries as you explore a surreal underwater realm filled with strange machinery, ancient ruins, and dangerous ocean Whoa. inhabitants. A variety of sea creatures can be possessed. Harness their abilities to solve puzzles, navigate the haunting environment, and survive encounters against deep sea goliaths. There's Ooh, more than so creepy. in this unsettling monochrome world. It's cool though. Plunge into the dark waters of silt, launching silt. on Nintendo Switch next month. Ooh, that's fun. Hey, a way to avoid traffic. Morning commutes can be a real jam. If you get my right. Oh, I know, right? But guess what? In many motorways from developer Dinosaur Polo Club, the key to solving the city's congestion problems is you. Draw and build roads to create a bustling metropolis and keep traffic flowing on maps inspired by real life cities. As demands interchange, you'll continuously redesign and expand via upgrades like highways and roundabouts. Yeah, you know, seems like a fun, actually kind of fun thing to play. It's weird, but... More maps will unlock as you become a master road oh, some puzzles. How long can you keep the cities of the world moving? Buckle up for mini motorways. Yeah, I might actually play that. Nintendo Switch later today. I might actually play that. Seems to be impractical. This heartfelt narrative adventure from Ghost Pattern, set in 1970s rural Australia. As intrepid teen journalist Casey, you'll right. come to know a diverse cast of eclectic voiced characters through the stories they tell and the moments you share. Each story unfolds in real time, at the same time, so you get to choose which ones you want to experience. Follow the hospital's inhabitants. Eavesdrop on them, or enter the room and be part of the conversation. Darcy, right? This is B's kid. It's um Casey, not um Casey, just Casey. <laughs> sure. By keeping track of information yeah. in your notebook and spending time with certain characters, you might unearth new stories, locations, and revelations. Multiple playthroughs will also give you the opportunity to witness other events, allowing you to delve deeper into the stories and weave together mysteries aboard the airship. Interesting. Wayward Strand lands on Nintendo Switch right. July 21st. A randomly Who called the lab? I read about this. In this action adventure game That's cool. As a possessed lamb saved by a Boating stranger from a ritual sacrifice. You need to repay your debt by creating a 
creating a loyal community of woodland worshippers. Gather resources to build structures. That's creepy. Then gather your courage to break deadly dungeons like the Silk Cradle. Venture through its dark depths, teeming wow. with razor spiders and toxic millipedes, to challenge the dungeon's overlord Shimura. There ain't anything sheepish about it. Cult of the Lamb trots onto Nintendo's. Yeah, well, that looks good. Uh, what? Souls like. Shell, shells like. Okay. What the hell? Crabs treasure. All right. Hey, crab fans. I'm Nick, and I'm Kate. Hey, crab fans. Our crab release going under, and it didn't make us rich. So this time, we're selling out and giving the people what they want: crabs. Our second project is a collection themed souls like another crab's treasure. Through our extensive research, we found that crabs are the perfect enemy for an action game. They've got natural weapons, can strafe from side to side. And you can hit their weak point for massive damage. Souls likes are known for their difficulty. That's so random. And we want to create a game that maintains that challenge while being approachable for new fans of the genre. Ooh, what if you died in one hit when you're not wearing a chef? I just said it's supposed to be approachable. Oh, what if every time you dodge roll, there's like a 1% chance that you just trip and fall over? Well, looks like our segment's over, everyone. It's, it's time, time for crab. crab. It's time right, for Rico, crab. Put your pincers up. Oh, here we go with the crab pun. Why? Under the sea to so random. Repossessed shell, while wading through this underwater world plagued by pollution and sinister secrets, you'll scavenge for trash and use it as a shell to defend yourself in challenging combat. That's so there random. Are over 50 potential shells, so get shellfish with them and repel enemies with powerful umami magic. If you don't, you'll be in a pinch before you know it. After all. Is another no, treasure. Treasure. I, get it. I get it. I get it. Is that it? Oh. We'd like to show you a sneak peek of several Ooh. more indie games coming to Nintendo Switch. Enjoy. Card shark. Oh, they showed that before. It looked interesting. Oh, curious to golf. I hear that. That looked good as well. A guy book on Beeble. All right. Opus, Echo of Star Song, okay. That's all for today's Indie World. Ah. We hope you enjoyed the slew of games in today's showcase. A big thank you to our indie community and okay. indie partners working on games for Nintendo. Nothing mind blowing, but this is Steph.
official Twitter all right. account to stay up to date on all the latest Rublets. in world news. Cry Until next time, happy gaming. Alright. No inscription, no uh, silk song, so a little disappointing. No shovel light. Eh. Oh well, well it was it, it, half decent stuff. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, too sweet. Hey, this guys.